At a time when large stories were mostly limited to RPGs, Metal Gear Solid, an action game, dared to explore a mature, in-depth story. With this came a cast of strong, complex characters, which is the part of this game that shines brightest. Metal Gear Solid's use of long cutscenes and expanded dialogue sections forces you to sit down and take your time with the game. Like a movie, it wants you to fall in love with the characters and be enthralled by the plot. And it does an amazing job. Characters change, revelations are made. There isn't a dull moment in Metal Gear Solid. It entices players through the game with its narrative, something that has remained core to every entry in the series, and the original game to don the solid name is one that does it the best. But of course, a video game cannot thrive on its story alone, and Metal Gear Solid has gameplay to match it. Its focus on stealth also makes for a slower paced action game in which you have to be patient and plan your moves. Thanks to the Soliton radar system, you can see every enemy's field of vision and can use this to effectively avoid your foes. However, the game isn't always that simple. Puddles, footprints and cameras can all alert the guards to your location, requiring you to often be a bit more crafty in how to get from point A to point B. This is where Snake's arsenal comes into play. Metal Gear Solid incorporates ideas from Metroidvania and survival horror games in how you acquire everything. Backtracking and exploration can award you with new weapons and new gear, giving you greater versatility. Many items will serve multiple purposes, some of which the game won't tell you. Be clever about how you use your gear, and you'll have an easier time. If brute force is more your style, the game also packs you with what you'll need. But you'll be burning through rations a lot quicker. Each boss fight is different to the last, requiring different weapons and different tactics. It's not just how you fight the bosses that makes them memorable, it's where you're fighting them, and why you're fighting them. For some though, it definitely is how you're fighting them that cements them in some of gaming's best bosses ever. Shadow Moses Island is an excellently designed world with a cold, quiet exterior that really makes you feel a sense of isolation. The interior is filled with claustrophobic areas and menacing hallways. There are points when you're forced to stop and consider the environment before ploughing through to a game over. Again, as an action game that requires a lot of patience, Metal Gear Solid really stands out as something unique. The soundtrack incorporates both slow, minimalist tracks that accompany the quiet parts of the game, along with fast, high-octane tracks that accent the stress of being caught and the desperation of finding a place to hide. Going back to the characters, it's incredible just how much dialogue is in this game. While everything vital in the game is told through cutscenes, the optional codec calls are where the bulk of the dialogue lies. Each character has a huge number of different things they can tell you at each new part of the game, with every call, you'll learn more about each character and Snake himself. Just saving the game gives you brand new dialogue with a new insight. Snake, listen to what Lo Chi said. He who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. And I can't not mention that each line is delivered superbly by some of the best voice actors in the biz. Metal Gear Solid even messes with the very medium of a video game on multiple occasions. I won't spoil anything. All I'll say is, back of the CD case. For these reasons, I believe Metal Gear Solid worthy to be placed into the Hall of Game. I hope you enjoyed the second installment of Hall of Game. Normally what would happen after I uploaded one of these videos is I'll be streaming the game and uh, giving it an induction into the Hall of Game, usually a few hours uh, after the video has been uploaded. But unfortunately I actually lack a computer at the moment um, due to some delivery mess. Uh, I, I've got a computer but it arrived broken so I had to send it back. So for the induction for this game it'll have to be sometime next week when I do uh, the induction, when I stream it on Twitch. But next Saturday for the third instalment um, I'll continue doing it on a Saturday when I have a computer and I'll be able to stream it. So if you want to see when I'm going to be streaming the induction for this game be sure to go onto Twitch and uh, give me a follow and uh, that'll give you a notification for when I'm streaming the game. Anyway as always guys have fun playing video games.